Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's Cindy here, and today we are doing a baby girl named that we like and my too. So, uh, as you already know, I'm pregnant, and uh, we already know it's a girl. If you didn't see the gender reveal video, I'll link it down below. But yeah, spoiler alert, it's a girl. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we like knowing the gender of the baby before the baby is actually born because it makes it easier to buy clothes um, it's very difficult to get gender neutral clothes and also it helps us to select a name before the baby is born so i always have like a running list of names whether i'm planning on having more kids or not i've i've heard that since you know i even had kids before i even got married but yeah now i get to use them so um yeah this is uh mostly my names right uh my husband he usually just like at the end he's like oh i think i like this name and so forth but i think it's usually a woman thing so anyway so i'm going to give you like 10 names uh 10 baby girl names that we like and uh might possibly use for this little one okay so i'll be looking down my list is right here with me so the first name that we like is um Jael, right? Uh, so this is a Hebrew name. It's actually um, a woman in the Bible who was like a hero. Like, um, there was this um, enemy army soldier who, who was running away from, like, they'd attacked, you know, the, the, the Israelites and then there was like, um, and then like, yeah, he was the leader of the army and then his name was Sisera and then he was running away and uh yeah like he went into the tent of this woman right and then she's like no 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 don't worry um i want to sell he's like don't sell me out they're looking for me but i'm tired i just need to rest and she's like no don't worry i i, I won't do <laughs> you know i won't sell you out but a uh, long time short she waited until he went to sleep she even gave him some milk and made him comfortable and then while sleeping she just took a tent pig and drove it drove it in his head i know it's like really gory and stuff but those are biblical times i wouldn't condone anyone doing it now but the thing is she was a woman who stood up like for her people and yeah i would want my daughter to be someone who's strong and courageous and also cunning because obviously she couldn't fight him like she didn't have a choice even if she didn't want to um accommodate that guy but like he didn't really give her a choice but anyway so that's the first name i like the only reservations i have is like um most people pronounce it jail and it sounds like jail right um i think uh hebrews uh pronounce it as yael but i like pronouncing it as jael so yeah that's number one on the list so number two is asha okay so this is a, a name of um arabic yeah origin right and it's got a lot of meanings but they're all very good meanings it means happy it means life it means wish it means desire i particularly like this name because it sounds nice uh my husband and i like short names so usually with four to five letters um no it's not actually my husband and i it's what my husband prefers so i've just kind of like conditioned myself <laughs> to <laughs> to what he likes but anyway asha i like because it sounds nice i also know a very wonderful lady called asha asha if you're watching hi i might name my daughter after you but um yeah one of the meanings of it is desire and we were like having a girl as our heart's desire so i think it would also be an appropriate name but we'll see and then this third name that we like is ayla right um so this name is it's got hebrew origins as well as turkish which i think would be arabic origins i'm not so sure but i also like it because it sounds nice um and it's short um and yeah so it can mean like a halo of light in the turkish um like the turkish meaning i think is halo of light and then if it's the hebrew meaning it would mean oak tree right so like would you name your daughter after an oak tree but i think oaks were like they're steady trees and um yeah so i think 
it's it'll be a nice name not so much for the meaning it sounds nice and the meaning is not too <laughs> is not too bad because there's some names that like sound very nice but when you name when you know the meaning you're like mm, i don't think i want my child to be named after this so ayla and then the fourth name right uh, by the way these names are not in order of priority i was just writing down names so i'm not even going to say which one is my favorite but um yeah number four is antoinette so antoinette is actually my second name so my first name is cindy actually it's cindy so which is Ngebele for redemption i love my name my second name is antoinette I was named after my dad, who's called Anthony. So, you know, I was the girl, so they named me after Anthony. I also married my husband, who's called Anthony. So, yeah, it, I think I, I've always wanted to name at least one of our children after my husband, but he's not into that. Like, we had two boys already. We had like two boys already, and it's like, and I was like, okay, we can name him Anthony Jr. I was like, no he wants him to have his own personality and yeah so i might like as a name it's okay i like antonia better because it's shorter and sounds nicer but Antonit is my second name and yeah naming my daughter after me my husband also like my dad you know would be a good thing but we'll see about that number five on the list is sage so I like sage because uh, it's, it's the meaning is nice. It means wisdom to be wise, you know, knowledgeable, you know. So, but then these days, I think with the new age and all that, people think more when they think sage, right? They think of the the herb called sage, and a lot of people use sage for what of evil spirits and stuff like that. I don't believe in that i think it's superstition or if you do believe that or doing that i think it borders on witchcraft which goes against my um my faith so yeah so even though i like the name because of something else i, I don't want my daughter also to have like just to deal with the you know with the yeah i don't know if we would use it as well and fyi most of the names that i like on this list you see as either start with a or f because we have this thing of wanting names to match so we already have an a which is my husband and f which is myself and my other son and uh we already have two kids our two older kids so so yeah i'm i'm leaning mostly on a and s name so moving on to number six shauna right shauna is um depending on where you come from like i'm shona right uh that's my that's my mother language that's my mother that's my um ethnic origin right actually i'm actually chaman but we adopted the shona couch because of moving around and stuff like that but like i'm shona so i think it's a pretty name i like it because it's a pretty name and it's also something for my child to identify with you know so yeah i would like shona uh, I would like Shona as the name. It's also like uh, a female version of the name Shon, right? Which means God is gracious. So, yeah, I would also like to use that. Uh, like uh, as a Christian, I like the the meaning. And also, my other son is called uh, Sion, which is uh, yeah another way of saying Shon. So, I definitely do want that name. Uh, and it would match like I'll have Chloe and Cole and Sion and Shona. It would it would match like that. So yeah, that's one of the one of the names that I might choose for this baby girl. Okay, number seven. Yeah, I think it's number seven is Salah, right? So Salah is uh, the meaning is really difficult to actually say but it's like found if you, if you read like in the psalms in the old testament or in the torah um it will it will give like a verse and say something and then say that so it's like a it's like a pause right so it's like pause and think so whatever would be said like the verse um let's say it says trust in the lord with all your hearts 
okay i know after trusting the lord i don't think there's a seller but i'm just saying it is an, is an example so i think like the meaning would be like like just pause and reflect and just appreciate and, and try to understand so i like how it sounds and i like the meaning so yeah i i, I like seller and also start to get so but eight on the list is aksa right so aksa is also another bible name it's actually caleb you know joshua and caleb who went into the promised land and gave a good report and the other 10 spies did not give a good report so that caleb so he had a daughter called aksa he actually says whoever is able to i think uh claim this mountain or this area of land would actually get aksa his daughter as a as a wife and then there was a man called othniel who was able to do that and yeah caleb uh gave aksa as a you know um as his as, as his wife but aksa in her own right was very wise right she was given this very good land but it didn't have any drinking water right so what she did is she was able to go back to her father and and ask and say father i thank you so much for what you've done for me and my husband but um the land that you've given us it was actually a dowry then that you've given us doesn't have any water so can you please add on to what you've given you know and caleb granted her that petition you know and yeah i i want my daughter to be able to know that she can you know she can to, to she can ask of her father and he would uh and he would give not only her earthly father and mother but especially her heavenly father right that you know what we can ask of the lord you know he's the one who decides whether or not but we shouldn't be afraid to ask if it's good for us if it's if it's a good thing you know he you know i i do believe um and this is in this world he would do that so yeah i want that characteristic for my daughter and also it does sound nice you know that's with an a so yeah the last two names uh actually mean the same thing so the first one is called chieza which is um it means light in shona which is my mother you know which is my mother tongue you know so i i've always liked that name before we had our third born who's a boy uh we thought of naming we like because the first we've got names that start with c so i was like if it's a girl i really would like another c name and cheza was like top of the list so but now we already have like two c's and an s i don't you know it would upset the balance so i don't know if we'll use that but it was definitely one of my favorite names and yeah it, it just means light and i know that this daughter of ours is going to bring so much light and happiness into our lives right and then the last but not least name is Lisedi, right which also means the same thing so i'm shona but i'm half sweet so my mother is sweet and um yeah my mother is sweet this wind <laughs> so my mother is sutu and uh he said means light in sutu. so yeah to run away from the other seeds from every too many seeds we could name it Lisedi. it's not as short sorry i've got something in my eye here okay yeah so anyway it's not as short but uh it's got six letters but it still means the same name and i'll still it's still like culturally um it would give my daughter like a heritage like a sutu name uh two of our other kids have got sutu names second names so yeah but then again i have a cousin who's got a daughter called lisedi we don't stay close to each other so i'm not so sure if it's okay to have the same name or not i don't think it's a problem but you know like if they're in the same space and they always see each other it might get confusing so that's also another reason so yeah i'm not sure but anyway guys that is my 10 list of baby girl names that i absolutely love and my choose for the baby thank you guys so much for watching i know it's kind of like no noisy like with the wind uh and stuff like that thanks for bearing with me i'm actually not at home we went somewhere for our 15th 15th year anniversary and yeah i think i'll do a video 
either yeah i think i'll do a video about that in the future but yeah we went away and i was like yeah let me just film somewhere where it's different so yeah but it's actually very windy though nice so anyway thank you guys so much for watching please let me know which one is your favorite names if you've got any girl names that you like you know the meaning and yeah i prefer a or f names i uh, just put them in the comment down below let me know which one of my list that you like and be sure guys if you're new if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and uh yeah hit that like button i will see you guys in the next video bye